Welcome to APR Supplies Tech Tips for the Pros. Today we're going to be testing the capacitor of this unit. To test the capacitor, we're going to have to disconnect the high voltage power, and we're going to be using the tools, the uh, 5 16 and quarter inch nut driver, and a good quality multimeter. We're suggesting the uh, Fieldpiece SC680. To do this test, first we have to disconnect the high voltage power for our own safety. Now that we have line voltage disconnected, let's determine what size capacitor this unit should have. This is going to be listed sometimes on the rating plate on the door of the condensing unit. Sometimes you have to look for it in the parts list or from the compressor manufacturer. We're removing the capacitor from the system. This isn't really necessary for the test, but it will make it much easier to understand on the video. For our purposes in this unit, we have a capacitor that is 35 and 5. It's important to remember what wires are attached to the top of the capacitor, as well as what terminals they were connected to. If you don't remember where the wires were on the capacitor, you can trace the wires back to the correct locations using the wiring diagram. It's also a great place to take a picture with your phone. Pull out your multimeter and set it to MFD for microfarad or UF for microfarad. You're going to have three terminals on the top of the capacitor, C, F, and H. These stand for, the C is common, F is fan, and H is herm, which is the compressor. Now it's time to check the capacitor. We'll start by measuring between the fan and common terminals. We're looking for a number between 4.75 and 5.25. We get this range by multiplying our capacitor rating of 5 microfarad by 0.95 and 1.05. If the number on our multimeter is outside of this range, then our capacitor is bad. Now we'll check the capacitor between the common and the HERM terminals. Again, we are multiplying our capacitor rating of 35 by 0.95 and 1.05. If the number on your meter is outside of this range, your capacitor is bad. Thank you for watching APR's Tech Tips for the Pros. Hope to see you again soon.